there's like literally no radio station here. Driving me nuts. We have like one CD. It's a country CD. And there's one radio station in Treaty 8 territory. And it's country. I guess country it is. Si dana sutline ta kwe hasli Marina noko ho se zi jonti jatlo telo zast e My name is uh, Marina noko ho This weekend um, uh, my role is to organize the annual Treaty Day festivities it's amazing for him to make this trip out to see how we're... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <really. laughs> He'd be brave enough yeah. to be in Dunn really territory. Yeah. Me, but I didn't want to say that. So what would you guys call yourselves in like Dene? Like, Dene Sukhina. Dene Sukhina? Dene Sukhina. Uh, okay, so uh, you know with the Blackfoot we call ourselves like Nitsitapi. You know like the... Uh, the, the real people, like we're like we're human beings, right? Yeah. What does your interpretation that's, mean? That's exactly what Danisukhina means oh, yeah. in, in, in our language. Nice. The real people. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's awesome. I, that's, that's why I was kind of looking at you weird because. Hmm. Scramble eggs. So, Blair, what's happening here? Uh, we are having a breakfast today, and the mosquitoes are having a breakfast today too, apparently. You know, when I was a kid, all treaty meant to me was, you know, we go to our power, we get our five dollars. Yeah. Then he's kind of start realizing what you know what it means, like what actually happened, and he's yeah. kind of he kind of started getting mad. Our ancestors basically signed an agreement, right, a yeah. treaty, you know, to, to to work, to work with people, to share, right. That yeah. was supposed to be it, you know. Um, I don't think their intention was for us to be um, to be in this place right now. Yeah, you know, I'm exactly. pretty sure that wasn't their intent. No. <laughs> Look at us sitting here on reserve, uh, and then we're celebrating treaty days, and we have no idea what it is that we're 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 celebrating. All we get is the five dollars. I can only think about myself, my children, and my grandchildren, and I would want them to know um, what the intent was when we signed the treaty, what the treaty was all about. Uh, who signed it, who the signatories were, and, and why, why our ancestors signed that treaty, why our grandfathers signed it. So the intent is that we would share. We would share the resources and we would um, um, respect our land, but we would still be able to, to maintain our way of life. We would still be people. Um, we would still be considered human beings and continue on in the way that we, we lived, our traditional ways, maintain our culture, our language, our history. Our, our understanding is we made a treaty with the government that was being built at the time or that was going to be built at the time, uh, the Dominion of Canada. 
and the laws would be followed to protect the, the, our land. Uh, you know, it's taken over 100 years, but now the consultation law exists. There was a lot of promises that were attached to it that have never been carried into the future. And I think that, that, that's a problem that needs to be, to be dealt with in, 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 in some time in the 20 years, 30 years ahead of us now. And, and at the same time, our health, our education, our well-being would be looked after by the government. That was the deal that was made 125 years ago. Well, we've been involved with oil gas production here since 1980. Uh, there has been drilling done before that, probably since 59, 1959 was the first drilling rig that came through this area. And over the years, people used to be go to work for a labor job, one or two jobs, and you know, really low pay. And we wouldn't get to take part much, much in that. Today, uh, in 2016, uh, even in this really low price oil economy, we're still doing a lot of business on, out in the oil field. We own, I think, 27 companies that are in locally, between local and the band companies, and it covers everything from security to the drilling rigs now. We don't have a very good relationship with, with industry right now. Uh, all we see is the, the, the destruction and how it has how it's keeping us from maintaining our, our ways. When we say our way of life, we speak our language. The foods that we eat are all, are all our traditional foods. We go out, we, we, we fish, um, we, we set snares for rabbit. Now I have pizza and McDonald's, and that ain't great. <laughs> The land, how it's been opened up, and you know, we've lost a lot of hunting, we've lost a lot of fishing, we've lost a lot of this kind of stuff that, you know, the, the, the culture shock on the people is, is, is quite high. And, and, you know, we're going through a transformation like that right now. Even being this far south of Fort McMurray, there's still impacts, on, you know, on, that are apparent on, on the river here. I was out on a boat ride with uh, Maurice and he showed me that over the years it's the levels of the river have changed because of extraction from the oil companies. The uh, wildlife is being driven out um, by all certain types of industries, not just the oil and gas industry, but also the, the gravel pits and the, you know, the towns that are popping up, uh, the camps that are popping up here and there. So, a lot of the time they're, they're having to go out four or five hours just to go catch a moose um, or to go kind of travel farther to, to get the fish to, that they need to eat. In order for Canada to really succeed and enjoy the riches of the land, the treaty has to be looked at and what it means and how, how it's actually today. We need to get to the point of partnerships, of ownership and, and getting that so that our people can live with the same quality as the, the next people. First, they have to be able to see us as human beings. Right now, we're not seen as people. We're just obstacles in their way. We are more than willing to work with them, but it has to be at the same level. <laughs>